Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will solve joy of computing using Python Week 4 quiz. So don't worry, you will definitely get answer for joy of computing using Python Week 3 quiz. Uh, I will solve it on the next day. I found this week harder, so I thought first I should solve this one. So coming to the first question, the answer is this one. N into n square plus 1 by 2 and this is the only formula which can give you magic constant you can see this screenshot from wikipedia so this is the formula which you can use it for finding the magic square so mark option a for question number one going to the question number two what could be the magic constant if the size is six so uh, seeing this screenshot you can see if the size is 6 then the magic constant will be triple 1. So mark option B for question number 2. Now going to the question number 3. Thus, transport, thus uh, transposing the magic square give us a new magic square. My answer is yes. So if you see this is the original magic square given in the Wikipedia and I have transposed it here you can see 276 horizontal and this is vertical and then 951 horizontal and it is vertical here 438 and here also you can see 438 so if you do the sum of all of uh, sum of all the numbers in the given row column or diagonal you will get 15 even after transposing so mark yes for question number 3 coming to question number four before going to question number four let me make this clear to you if i do any change in answer i will inform you in my telegram channel or in this youtube ch channel community tab or in this video description so please make sure to change your answer if i change my answer so question number four for validating these magic squares i took this code from Geeks of Geeks and you can see uh, it will work so for option number one I have copied all these details all these rows and columns detail from the question and if you execute if I execute this you you will get 34 sum in all the rows and columns so it is a magic square and for second question you can see there is minus e e means the, uh, it is a constant whose value is 2.7182 dot something in python if you execute this code you will see that constant value so using that constant value you we will have to check whether it is a magic square or not so you can see it is not a magic square as we are getting a difference in this decimal place at last here you can see 3814 and here it is 3820 so this difference because of this difference it is not a magic square so we will not give tick for option b going to the question number c you can see i have copied all the details here and if i run you will again get some as 34 throughout the rows columns and diagonals and for question number four again we have another constant which is pi so i tried to use this constant in my code and if you execute this again you will see there is a difference in the last decimal position here you can see 297 here you can see 296 and because of this difference it is not a magic square going to the question number five so for explaining this question number fi five just see this excel so we have birthdays of all people and birthdays will be birthdays timing will be like this it should be like this complete hour or hour plus 30 minutes so you can see it should be like 12 am or 12 30 12 30 am or 3 am or 3 30 am or 4 am or 5 30 m it is uh, you can see always you, you you will find a difference of 30 minutes and uh, that is why I, I kept i kept this 
like this because you can see this difference here 30 minute birth interval so that is why i kept birthday's timing uh, like this so it is telling that the interval starts at 12 am so that is why i kept it like this it is starting at 12 am and if it is starting at 12 am then it will definitely end at 11 30 pm because if you add another 30 minutes to this 11 30 pm then again you will get 12 am now we will find out how many uh, intervals we will get within one day so as you can see it is starting from 12 am and it is ending at 11 30 pm means we are covering around one day so if you go here and check interval will start at 12 am in in that 12 11 59 pm because after this we will have 12 am again so we have total in interval of one day and in one hour you can see we have 230 minutes means we can have two different birthdays in one hour and in 24 hours we have 2 into 24 30 minutes which means we can have 48 30 minute intervals so we have 48 different birthdays in one day so as you can see uh, I have shown all those 48 different birthdays 12 am, 12 30 am, 1 am, 1 30 am, 2 am, 2 30 am and you can notice that for all these students they all have different birthdays and it will not match for them it will not match for them so now the question is what is the minimum number of people required to ensure that at least two of them share the same 30 minute birth interval so if we have 48 people so we can guarantee that uh, we, we can guarantee that no two people will have same birthday as you can see all of them have different birthday so if you have 48 then you cannot guarantee and now my question is now in this list of 48 students i want to add another student whose name is harry so if i want to add another student birthday then birthday timing should be like one hour or one hour plus 30 minutes i want to add another student name such that his birthday timing should, should be like complete one hour or hour plus 30 minute and keeping this condition in mind can i add any different birthday so my so answer is no reason is very simple because if you take any other timing like this so it will definitely fall in this area for example i want to add 12 30 am so it is already present here so we we can have maximum of 49 Max, so we can have maximum of 49 people in order to ensure that two people share the same birthday calculate a magic square so for this question you can go towards my right side and you can see calculate a magic constant for 4 into 4 square so it is for, for 4 into 4 square using this given formula it will be 34 where all the elements are distinct number for 1 to 6 yes uh, we have distinct number from 1 to 6 and then uh, we also need the magic constant for Ramanujan's magic square so magic constant for Ramanujan's magic square is 22 plus 12 plus 18 plus 87 you can see this is the constant I tried to add the first row so I will get it as 139 and if I if I try to find the difference between these two magic constant for Ramanujan's magic square it is 139 and for my magic constant it is 34 it will give 105 so this is the difference coming to question number 7 function, uh, we have this function 1 so first, uh, first it is asking what this function 1 will do so if I execute this, this function will try to give 
the factors of number excluding that number so you can see if i execute function 1 of 8 i will get 1 2 4 and as you know factor of 8 is 1 2 4 8 so factor of number n excluding n is 1 2 4 which is this one so mark last option d for question number 7 for question number 8 for what n1 and n2 flag will will the variable flag inside be not equal to true so for 2 3 it is true for 0 0 it is false for 1 1 it is false and also for 1 0 it is false so mark option a tick option b c d for question number 8 for question number 9 for question number 9 the answer is if you try with any two prime number you will always get completed you will any two if you try with any two prime number between 0 to 20 you will always get answer as completed so let me do one thing i have added extra flag mm. What is asking completed for 17 13? Now, if I run for 7 13, you will also get completed. So, that is why you will get completed for all pairs of prime between 0 and 20. And for question number 10, coming to question number 10. Yes, if we increase the threshold of first first thing that uh, we can change the code to remove that completed and you will be definitely confused between option A and C. So first option is not prevalent if because if we if we come in this flag part then also it will work. You see flag has nothing to do with printing completed you can see it is telling completed now now I have uncommented flag and we will try to change or increase the threshold for length of list 2 so this is the th current threshold is 0 i will change it to 1 now you will see that uh, we will not get any completed you can see let me change the prime number 370 we will not get any completed so that is why this option is more more visible for person number 10 Thanks a lot for watching this video.